Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is your boy, your man, your YouTuber, Jack McCarthy. And today I'm reacting to the latest Here's My Story video. This is My Mom is Jealous of Me Because I Look Like a Model. Ah, it's always the mothers being je jealous of their children because they get to live through their youth and such. But I ain't judging, it's just an opinion. All right, before I get started with this video and before we find out where this goes, make sure you click the like button and the little bell and the subscribe button and the little bell so you never, ever, 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 ever miss out any updates or the videos such as this. Make sure you check out, out Here's My Story and a whole bunch of their other videos such such as on um, one of the twin, well, such as the girl that the sister that read her sister's diary, and then the, and then the girl that that was that became a billionaire, and then was abandoned by my parents, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. So without further ado, let the reaction of my mom is jealous of me because I look like a model begin. Hi everyone, I'm Eva. Eva, one day pretty I came name. down to have dinner with my parents and was surprised to see a huge pizza on the table. Yummy. They were having chicken and veggies. Mom, why am I having pizza? I asked. My mom put on a fake <laughs> smile and said, I thought you liked pizza. Oh, jeez. And I said, Mom, I like pizza, but you realize I've already had it three times this week, right? She said, Eva, please stop complaining and start eating. I have french fries and a chocolate donut. Okay, a little bit of red flags My here. My dad saw that I wasn't thrilled and laughed, <clears throat> saying, Eva, this is every kid's dream. Your mom is letting you have all your favorite foods because she loves you so much. Enjoy it. Hang on. I was still confused after dinner. I said to myself, pizza, french fries, and donuts? Mom used to never let me eat these things because they're unhealthy. Why is she pushing them on me now? She, it's gonna right. it's gonna come the up. The second I said it, a light bulb went off in my head. Pizza, french fries, and donuts have one thing in common. All three of them are extremely high calorie foods. No my mom shit. Was making me eat them because she wanted me to gain weight. And unfortunately, I knew exactly why. In order for you to understand this better, I have to tell you two things that happened to me recently. Go ahead. I have a friend whose father owns a famous clothing brand. He met my dad at a PTA meeting at school. Eva is much prettier than the models we work with. Once she gets a little older, I want her to model for our advertising campaigns, he said. A few Big years later, money. he did call my dad. We are doing a photo shoot for our new t-shirt collection. We'd like to work with Eva. She'll make good money, he told him. When my dad told me about it that night. I was so excited. <laughs> to be honest, my friends often tell me I'm really pretty. They say, Eva, you look like a model. You can totally pursue a career. You look in like a young, beautiful Jennifer Aniston. Nice things, but they are my friends. I always thought they're just being nice, but this time I had a real shot at modeling. This was a great opportunity for me. But my mom wouldn't hear of it, saying, You need to go to school. You have no time for this stuff. Jesus I said, mom, Christ. The shoot is over the weekend. It's not going to affect my school. But she what? came up with other excuses. Oh, no matter yeah, how hard right. I tried, I couldn't convince her. We argued all night. In the end. Oh, bo oh, come on! I couldn't make it to the photo shoot because my mom didn't let me. Oh, that sucked. A couple of days sucked. later, I came home from school and found my mom in my room. What? She had taken all of my clothes out of my closet. She was putting them in cardboard boxes. Mom, what are you doing? I asked. She said, you're all grown up now. These are childish clothes. I'll help you change your style. I looked into one of the boxes. Oh, boy. I said, Mom, these are my favorite clothes. Everyone tells me how great I look in these. I don't want to change my style. She said, Eva, please stop being so difficult. Let's go get some better clothes for you. And dragged me out to go shopping with her. Really? I was so shocked when I saw the store she was taking me to. I knew this place because my grandmother bought most of her clothes there. Huh. Even my mom wouldn't wear anything from this store. The sales attendant was surprised when my mom said we were there to shop for me. My mom made me try on a few outfits and ended up buying Jesus three dresses, Christ, that's three a, pairs of pants, that's a terrible mother. Dogs, none of which I wanted. No, no, she I can sense that you don't want either of those. Were for old ladies. Even though I didn't quite get why my mom was doing all this to me, I thought there had to be a good reason for it. The idea no was coming up eventually. I, I couldn't come up with anything that made sense. On top of this, she also tried to force feed me all those high calorie foods. Only after I put the I can together, vouch I for that. To see why my mom was acting this way. This is really difficult for me to say, but it seemed like my mom was jealous of me. I think Yeah, I you're beautiful and stunning. I got that modeling job offer. This was it's a midlife crisis thing, but perhaps. She was, she was supposed to be proud of me, not jealous. This was really hard to digest. People can be Just like to be that. Sure, I did a quick Google Even the ones you love. Fortunately, it was pretty common for mothers to be jealous of their daughters. After that day, my mom was in a secret competition with me. 
She started changing her hairstyle every week. She was buying new clothes for herself all the time. And they uh, looked very much like my old clothes. Jesus she Christ. She had called childish. She used to talk about how much she was against Botox. And then she went and got Botox. Oh, she boy. The, the, with a mirror in her hand don't get into that stuff, surgery. believe me. It she hurts. Anymore. She was Telling you, it's a midlife crisis why? thing. Because she was jealous of her own daughter. My mom Who can blame them? Me as well. For example, it actually bothered her that I didn't have pimples. She said, what kind of teenager are you? Everyone has pimples. This is oh, not for... normal. And took me to the dermatologist. She told the doctor, Eva never got a single pimple. Puberty means acne, right? What can we do to help her break out? Naturally, the doctor looked at her like she was insane. What do you mean? You want your daughter to have acne? There's absolutely nothing I can do about that, she said. My mom got really upset. And I was really annoyed that my mom made the effort to do something so evil. Yeah. I way back home for the doctors. I couldn't yeah, stop uh, anymore. Damn it. Mom. Hang on, give me I've a had second. I've suspicion about you for some time now. I need to ask you a question, I said. My mom guessed where I was going with this. Oh, no. I sense tension. Hang on. You all know you can skip this. Just ignore the ad. Ads mean nothing. She gave me her sternest look. I ignored her and bluntly asked, Mom, are you jealous of me? She pulled the car over. Oh, she started shit. screaming things like, What are you saying? And who do you think you are to say I'd be jealous of you? I wasn't expecting such a huge reaction. I had some thoughts. For a full hour that day. She kept saying she wasn't. Should, you should have just got out of the car and walked home. Made it so obvious that she really was. And she now the jealousy she went from here to here. That day, she stopped talking to me altogether. Really? She didn't even look at me. The I silent to treatment. Her, but she wouldn't even respond to me. That made me really sad. I cried in my bed at night. I wish I weren't so pretty so I could have a normal relationship with my mom, I thought. Be proud of who you are. Principles. Don't be be One someone school, you're not. I the principal's office. The principal said, Eva, I have some bad news for you. What? Your mom fainted this morning. They took her to the emergency room. Unfortunately, she's still unconscious. Your dad gave me the hospital's address. Oh, you need to go oh there. no, over the bro. Piece of paper with the address. I was so shocked. I took the piece of paper and began running to the bus stop. Run, Forrest, run! Room, I Sorry, I, I, I know it's sad, but I, I had to. My mom. Her eyes were closed. She couldn't hear us. It was so sad to see I her. I think I have a theory. I gave her a kiss on the forehead. What's wrong with my mom, Daddy? I asked. Tears started streaming down his face. Eva, your mom is not doing well. One of her kidneys stopped functioning. They need to remove it, but we don't have enough money for surgery. I wanted to get a loan from the bank, but they wouldn't give it to us because we already have other loans. Damn. I've been trying since this morning, but I couldn't come up with a solution. Your mom needs this surgery as soon as possible. I think We're she may come up with one. I panicked when I heard all this. I didn't even want to think about losing my mom. I had to stay calm. Think. I had to come up with a solution. Suddenly, I had an idea. I got up. Dad, there's something I can do, I said, and rushed out the door. You might have guessed where I was heading. Yeah. I had to get my friend's father who wanted me to model. Half an hour later, I was at my friend's house. Knew I it. I effing knew it. Minutes. I couldn't do the t-shirt shoot, but if you have others coming up, I'd love to work with you. I told him after explaining what was going on with my family. He was very sorry for my mom. We'll be doing six different campaigns in the next few months. I want to work with you on every one of them. I'm going to pay in advance. Our modeling fees are pretty high. I think you will be able to afford your mother's uh -huh. surgery, he said. Then he called Sweet. the manager of the department that does the contracts. We signed a contract for six photo shoots. I got the payments in advance. I was Hell so relieved. Yeah. I just wanted to rush to the hospital and let my dad know. The money I made from modeling was enough to cover my mom's surgery. We even had money left over. On the day of the surgery, we were so excited. Come on. The whole thing took 10 hours. When it was done, the doctor came to speak with us. And? He had a concerned look on his face. After Wait. we removed the non-functional kidney, we unfortunately realized the other kidney wasn't in great shape either. So we had oh. to remove that one as well. Oh, crud. When I heard this, I couldn't help but scream. Oh my god, how will my mom live without her kidneys? Kidney transplant. Said, your mother is connected to a dialysis machine. She needs to have a kidney transplant. Do it. it. You need a healthy kidney that is compatible with your mother's tissue. Are you thinking what morning, I'm thinking? My dad and I got the tissue test. This was how they would determine if our kidneys were compatible. We waited anxiously until we heard the good news. My tissue was compatible with my mom. Perfect. That meant I could give her the kidney she needed. My dad and I hugged. Our life had suddenly turned upside down, but finally we could see the light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you, that Jesus. Day, they removed one of my kidneys. Soon after, they transferred it to my mom. I was lying in bed after surgery. 
They brought my mom into the room. She was still under anesthesia. My kidney is inside my mom's body. I gave her life by giving my kidney, I thought. Mm -hmm. And I started crying from happiness. Ha I was Tears of joy. Bed, and my mom was in the other. She started waking up as the anesthesia wore off. She saw me in the bed next to her as soon as she opened her eyes. <laughs> Hello, my darling, she said to me. Hi, mommy, I replied. A single tear came out of each of my mom's eyes. She said, I was so scared I wouldn't be able to see your beautiful face again. This was the first time my mom called me beautiful. I had promised myself I wouldn't cry if my mom got better, but I couldn't help it. We were both crying. Aww. My mom said, I'm so sorry, honey. You never deserved any the of The way to I find happiness to is through forgiveness. I to you. If I ever start behaving that way again, ask for your kidney back, she said. We both started <laughs> laughing hysterically. <laughs> My dad came into the room and was surprised to see us laughing so hard. He didn't know what was so funny, but that didn't stop him from doing Yeah, it really didn't. Well, that was a pretty interesting sto story. I very much enjoy joy joyed her story. I mean, after what she went through and everything, thing and what and, and then what happened, I sense a really great successful modeling career in her future. Her mother's going to start to support her more, more and her father is always going to gonna be with her as well well hope you all enjoyed this i know i did make sure you make sure you hit that like button rewatch the video over again subscribe and the little bell so you never ever 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 miss out any updates or other videos such as this check out here's my story and other stories that they posted on here here are like the two i mentioned the parents disowned me because i became a billionaire and i read my twin sister's diary and found out our biggest secret and a whole bunch of others including the my biggest end of it is the president's daughter you're all gonna probably like that i know i did stay tuned for more videos jeff mccarthy signing off el bio -y.